Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. As some of you suggested, oh, why won't you take us around on Nud? Why won't you show us your local area? So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you around on Nud. I'm going to show you why we choose to live here. You're going to see all our local spots. You're going to see some lovely local people as well. We're going to grab breakfast. We're going to go for lovely coffee and show you just generally around on Nud, around the area where we live. Stay tuned, see what's coming up, enjoy, leave the comment and like guys. There is a lovely, lovely uh, little food court where I come for breakfast quite often. Hi, hi. Hi. I don't have to really go to the supermarket, I can just pick up all the fresh food here guys. There's so many lovely people guys here. Hello! <laughs> oh, we have so many types. We have like a first one, we have the sticky rice. The Eastern rice is apparently very good quality, right? Very good. Let's pick some lovely flowers for our home. We have Konaka! But look how pretty! I'm crossing the crazy road now, now guys. This road is absolutely mental. Thai people always put smile on my face. Hey guys, if you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy. We came to Thailand with a plan to travel for one year, but things have changed. I love this place. We fell in love with this country and now Bangkok, Thailand is our new home. Yay! <laughs> Follow us if you want to see how beautiful this country really is. There will be a lot of good food on this channel. Friendly locals <laughs> bio, bio. and some great places Thailand has to offer. Well, it's a hot one today. Uh, we're gonna start the day with breakfast, guys. We are just outside uh, Tesco Lotus by the BTS on Nude and by the Burger King. There is a lovely, lovely uh, little food court where I come for breakfast quite often. So yeah, what we like to eat in here is cow man, guys. I'm just quickly gonna show you. I'm quickly gonna have a breakfast and then we're gonna go and explore the rest of Anut. I'm drinking as well because it's hot. Uh, so I uh, Ao chadam uh, yen. Chadam yen. Chadam yen. One noise. Uh, one noise. Ka. Kakuna ka. <laughs> oh, much needed sweet black tea. Oh yeah, little sh little sugar, so that is really, really nice and refreshing. I brought you here to one of my favorite spots for breakfast around here, guys. I love Khao Mang Gai. Uh, as you probably know if you're watching this channel. And the rice in here is absolutely lovely. They give you a little soup as well. Sauce is amazing. There is a lot of ginger and garlic in it. Mm. What I like to do, I like to just put a sauce all over the chicken. I'm not sure if that's how you meant to eat this dish, but that's how I like to eat it. Right, try a bit of chicken with that sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is lovely, spicy and a lot and a lot of ginger. Very good. I'm just gonna enjoy this guys and I'm gonna catch you up in a minute. Done with the breakfast guys, this was lovely as always. The quality in this place is always the same, it's always absolutely delicious. Still got my tea, it's really hot so I do need to walk around uh, with some kind of drink because it's really hot and humid today. I'm going to show you today a little bit more of uh, Omnud, a little bit more of the local area uh, where we live basically. So yes, yeah, stay tuned and Come with me and explore my neighborhood, our neighborhood. I'm just passing BTS on Nut now. I'm gonna cross the road and then 
and we're gonna go for coffee guys I'm just going to be showing you today our local spots basically where we go on a daily basis where we go for quick coffee as well where we buy our food uh, other places we like other places which are interesting around Onnud so yeah just crossing the road now through the BTS station because that's the easiest way so just gonna tell you today why I like living in Onnud why we choose to live in Onnud as well and maybe after watching this video you will know the reason why so we just got here at the movie plaza century movie plaza quite big shopping mall for Onnud um, you've got like movie theater of course over there uh, you have Starbucks that's what you like I always go to the local places um, to be honest I am not a fan of Starbucks outside this shopping mall is a market every evening from 5 o'clock where you can come and get your nails done there is a lot of clothing as well and and a lot a lot delicious street food but this is basically one of the reasons we like Onnud because you have so much street food around here we're just walking towards one of our favorite street food areas in Onnud guys this is behind me turns into a massive street food market after 5 p.m. and early in the morning and Danny usually grabs a couple of snacks to us on the way home this is really really pl good place if you want to try some good local uh, street food guys there's also some good places for the coffee here as well and lots of lots of delicious food on the corner here is our fruit lady where we get the fruit sometimes if we can see like a quick bite or a quick snack as well lovely lovely people they always say hello even if we're just passing by not stopping to buy anything I am walking on a really really busy road guys now this is just like a main road to go from to Bangkok or to get out of Bangkok it's really busy it's really loud and it's really hard to speak here so I'm just gonna pass this road join soy 77 soy jet jet and then I'm gonna pick you up from there it's too loud to speak here Walking on Tanon on Nut Soy 77. <clears throat> this is this is basically just outside our place where we live. There is a lot, a lot of like a local shops around here, guys. There is a little food court as well here with a lovely soup as well, pork noodle soup opposite me is just like a fruit market so in front of the shops over there on the other side of the road there is a lot of fruit vendors fruit is a little bit more expensive there than in a supermarket but there is some good quality fruit so we do buy it from there sometimes as well but yeah I just want to show you on note because you can see why we choose to live here how nice is around here as well guys we also have a massive massive big C store over there which is so handy you've got the banks over there you've got a big food market bakery as well a lot of stuff and another food court as well on top right now I'm gonna walk through the our local market in Onnud there's a fresh food market with some cooked food as well but mainly you can get the fish or meat and fruit and vegetables as well so let me show you around it's really cool spot guys so we're just walking through here now and then straight away we have a lovely fruit store beautiful flower store here guys <laughs> we're gonna go and get some uh, flowers later for home they look so pretty <laughs> right let's just walk through the market might pick something up as well not sure yet if I see something I find see I'll let you know <laughs> I'm so sweaty it's really really humid today guys 
this is another fruit store here in the corner just when you walk into the market I would recommend it to you uh, they have a lot of good quality food good prices as well and quite often they have a lot of food cut already so it's just easy for you to pick it up and ready to eat so this is more of the morning market so you have to come here a little bit early if you want to see how busy it is but yeah let me just walk you walk you through it and you can see what my local market looks like guys Nala. <laughs> Hello! Oh, high five! High five! Good, good, good. 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 Uh, so yeah, you can see there is a lot of fresh food here guys. So really, I don't have to really go to the supermarket. I can just pick up all the fresh food here guys. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. And you have a good day. There's so many lovely people guys here. A lady just stopped me saying, oh, where are you from? How are you? Wishing me a lovely day. This is the... This is the thing you're not gonna see in touristy areas, guys. How lovely the people are and how friendly as well. When I walk around sometimes, you know, by myself, I, in, the in the beginning of the day, I will feel sad because I'm on my own, Danny is in work, and then just Thai people, they just always put smile on my face. On my, fa on my face. <laughs> they got some more lovely fruit here as well. Tamela. I do like the yellow watermelon you can see behind me that is really nice if you haven't tried it please do because it's super tasty okay so we got some Thai desserts here as well you can literally get anything you need in this market now we're coming into another like a food court area there is a lot of delicious delicious food here I'm gonna turn out turn out I'm gonna turn out um, Oh, I can't speak today guys, it's so hot and humid, you can probably see it on my face, how red I am, and especially this market is under the cover, so it keeps like, it's not much breeze here. But yeah, I'm just gonna turn the camera now and just show you the little food court we've got here as well. But I just want to show you something, just outside this market guys, there is a um, rice store place where they sell rice and I cannot believe how many types of rice there is I had no idea how many types of rice there is actually available until I saw this store it's just crazy amount honestly I never thought there were so many types of rice guys it's just incredible you have a brown rice here you have a black one and the mix as well it's just unbelievable i would like to know actually what they call in english and how many actually types of rice is around here because this is just crazy so i guess there is a different quality because you have a different prices as well but yeah i don't know much difference or i don't know much about rice unfortunately do you know how many types of rice do you have here? Actually, we have all of the rice from all of the rice. All of the Thailand. Oh wow! All of Thailand. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm I'm gonna ask this lovely lady who is working here if she could actually tell us a little bit more about the rice what they got here. Sure, oh, yes, thank sure. you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> how many types of rice you got here? Oh, we have so many types. We have like a first one. We have the sticky rice, mm. vitamin rice and jasmine rice only from the jasmine rice we have three types oh, already okay. yeah oh, so wow. that's why you see it's a lot mm -hmm. of the bucket here yeah. yeah and also we have like an a normal rice in thai we call white rice yeah it will not get soft like a jasmine rice someone want to like to cook the uh, fried rice mm -hmm. or eat with the uh, gang you know what is the soup oh, yes, yes. The, yeah 
that we use white rice. Ah, okay, yeah. right. Because jasmine rice is too soft when yeah, they like. Yeah, it's like mushy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's too sticky. Yeah, too, too sticky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm absolutely amazed how much rice is in here, guys. They have a rice from Isan as well. The Isan rice is apparently very good quality, right? Very good. Very yeah. good. Yes. And rice from Chiang Rai as well from. Wherever you can find rice in Thailand, they've got it here. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Come here, please yeah. Come here. Guys, if you are a fan of cooking, please come and visit this um, this place. It's basically on the edge of the uh, Onnuk market. It's very easy to yeah. find. So yeah, come and check it out. It's really good quality rice. Yes. <laughs> and it's absolutely massive, massive choice. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Welcome. Uh, for one year now. <laughs> what a lovely lady. The people are so friendly here. I'm used to spending every hour with Danny. Now I'm on my own for, for most of the day. So I do get a little bit sad. I do get a little bit lonely to be honest. But I get out of the house and then Thai people always put a smile on my face. That's why one of the reasons guys why I love this place so much honestly. But now, just one minute, not even one minute walk, guys, and we are approaching uh, Paris House, which is a lovely um, coffee shop where they have a really nice coffee, nice atmosphere. It just looks like somebody's uh, front room, like somebody's uh, living room, basically. Coffee is very nice. Lovely, lovely people again. And, um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, lovely, lovely people again and coffee is really good so let's go and check it out it's very busy inside it smells amazing as soon as you walk in because I didn't want to talk and disturb everyone over there. It's really nice relaxing atmosphere in this coffee shop. It's really nice to go inside and actually cool down as well because they have an aircon inside and it's nice and fresh and as well. Coffee is really really good quality and really good price. 50 bar for ice americano guys. Really really nice and people are so friendly in there. I'm gonna put the link in the description to this cafe. I'm gonna put link in the description to the market as well, so it's easy for you to find if you want to explore this area. But let's enjoy nice fresh coffee for now, guys. Mm. Right, so this was lovely, lovely coffee shop, really nice coffee. I cooled down now. Another place where we come sometimes is to fix our clothes, guys. Which is basically you can fix your clothes. Ah which is slowly disappearing from uh, UK and Poland, just where I'm passing here now. If we have like a little hole in a clothes or you know, something is broken, the button is missing, I always come and bring the, um, to bring and things our clothes here. They literally do it, it costs like maybe 20 baht. The lady is, keep, is always doing it, literally within minutes. You just wait there and straight away, you get a stuff done. It's so convenient as well. Oh, I need to buy flowers. Let's pick some lovely flowers for our home. I I don't know which one to choose. There's so many lovely flowers. Ani? Best bad. Best I just pick these together and mix them in at home. Okay, kap kung ka. Oh my, my ow, kap kung ka. Kap kung ka. Kap kung ka. Right, look how pretty. Oh. Do you know what? They smell absolutely amazing. When we used to live back home, I used to buy fresh flowers all the time. Every, every time I went for like a weekly shop, I always had flowers, guys. Oh yeah. Check them out, 50 baht, hasi baht. Also gonna show you just outside. 
I'm crossing the crazy road now, now guys. This road is absolutely mental. Even when you're on a crossing, that doesn't matter that cars will stop for you. You have to be so, so careful when you cross this road, it's crazy. People do not stop for you very often if you're even in the middle of the zebra crossing, guys. So be careful if you walk here. So yeah, I'm just walking through a little street which is basically uh, Soy 77 and across this road there is, you have loads of like lottery, lottery sellers but also you have a lot, a lot of uh, fruit stores as well. This place here behind me, in season, when the mango is in season, they have a really good mango sticky rice, one of the best I ever had. Uh, and yeah, let me show you the fruit stores. They present their fruit really, really nicely, guys. Fruit is really good quality as well. So yeah, plenty of fruit stalls, vegetable stalls as well, where you can get all your fresh fruit and fresh veggies as well. Yeah, I'm so happy with my flowers. I'm gonna go home and arrange them. So Danny's gonna have a surprise when he's gonna uh, arrive afterward, because he does like uh, fresh flowers as well. So around 5 p.m. around here, there is a lot of uh, street food stalls as well where you can grab your food where you can grab your food on the way home from work and back in the shade ow jesus <laughs> it's so difficult to film with one hand and carry something in the other but yeah and really on this road you have everything you have doctors dentists hairdressers you really wouldn't have to you really if you you really do not have to leave on note if you need anything really you don't have to leave on note because everything is here so where i am now guys where we live in on note we are basically in between two neighborhoods you could say we are between Prakanong and Onnut, probably same distance to both BTS, same distance to BTS Onnut and same distance to BTS Prakanong. So in this vlog I showed you uh, around Onnut, around Onnut BTS, I, sh so I showed you our local places around Onnut and we also come to Prakanong area very often because we live in the middle of two areas. So in this vlog you saw Onnut and there will be another vlog coming guys where I'm gonna show you around Prakanong. Honestly I think we live in really good place in Bangkok because look it's so quiet around here it's so quiet and peaceful it's not busy and it doesn't feel like Bangkok sometimes. So yeah I'm walking on a bridge to Prakanong from Onnut to Prakanong now. This bridge was this bridge is actually quite famous. It made it to some movies apparently. Uh, but yeah, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, make sure you leave the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we have more stuff uh, coming. Danny is sorting out his Thai driving license now. So we'll be exploring Thailand very soon again. Um, we also have planned uh, one week holiday in Vietnam as well because uh, I have to leave Thailand for my visa. I have to sort out new visa so we will be leaving Thailand only for one week but we will be back very soon with more Thai videos so don't worry, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed showing me showing you a little bit of where we live, uh, a little bit more of the local areas around on the note around bangkok hope you liked it make sure you subscribe give a like and see you next one guys bye bye see you next one